outdoor enthusiasts know well the physical and restorative benefits of spending a beautiful day in the woods on a trail. But for many people, there are a lot of barriers even to taking a simple hike because of a disability or difficulty with balance. As Jennifer Rooks of Maine Public Television reports, a new grassroots movement aims to change that and make trails accessible to all. In Yarmouth, Maine, just a little north of Portland, volunteers are nearly finished building the 11-mile multi-use West Side Trail. The final mile, this section, will be accessible to those with disabilities. The boards are my favorite part, carrying them. Owen Seehagen and his sister Olivia are first-time volunteers here with their grandfather. We're building a bridge for the people that have a wheelchair or need help walking. This one I tried chamfering. I want to see how that works out. Engineering and design details matter. There can be no wide gaps between the boards, and the team has chosen cedar that is rough sawn because it's less slippery than pressure-treated lumber. On the graveled sections of the path, the grades and turns are gentle. The new section of the West Side Trail is one of a handful of new trail projects around the state designed to be universally accessible. They're part of a growing national movement known as Outdoors for All. But one of the biggest proponents of that movement here in Maine isn't waiting for special new trails to be built. He's out there now. Meet Enoch Glidden. Born with spina bifida, Glidden goes everywhere in a wheelchair. For a year now, he's been traveling all over Maine, testing trails for the app Maine Trail Finder. Today, it's the Knights Pond Preserve in Cumberland, Maine. When I'm doing these trails, I'm taking note in my head of different obstacles, like there's a hill behind us, or rocks coming up the hill, or grooves in the road, or roots. That's a big thing. There's lots of roots usually because of trees. And so I take note of all those things in my mind and I take pictures and I take video. When he gets home, he posts his picture and writes a blog. He liked this trail and rated most of it accessible or quote, wheelie easy. His message, it might not take much to make your trails significantly more accessible. If people would just look at the trails they already have, the easy ones, and look at it from a perspective of, if I was in a chair right now, would any of this stop me from continuing? They do find something that would stop them. How can we fix it? And then just fix that. And fix the next thing, and the next thing. And then pretty soon, you have an accessible trail. The origin story of the, of the organization is amazing. Zach Stegeman of the Adaptive Outdoor Education Center says outdoors for all means all ages and all abilities. I think we are approaching a tipping point, approaching a movement. How far do we have to go? As far as the trail goes. Um, we've, got, we've got a long ways to go. It doesn't have to be every trail, but it sure would be great if we looked at just about every venue with trails having one that is accessible, where someone with a you know, physical challenge navigating some uneven terrain, or perhaps a traumatic brain injury and some balance issues, could be visually impaired, whatever the challenge is, that they can still get outside, access that beautiful space. It doesn't have to be the summit, it can just be somewhere along the way. Meantime, the volunteers in West Yarmouth will keep showing up. It's incredibly good work, and it will result in a very good product used by hundreds and hundreds of people for decades. So what's not to like? And Enoch Glidden will keep trying new trails, inspired by the people he's helping. A lady walked up to me and said, aren't you Enoch Glidden? And I said, yes. And she said, I love your blogs. You've pointed out so many places that me and my mother can go together. And so that's really why I do that. <laughs> For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jennifer Rooks in Cumberland, Maine.